we are inside Xcode and our task is to build a text field that accepts input in iOS. So uh, we are in my scene and it just have the init method, nothing else. And here is the interface part. And since we want to accept key inputs, we have to make this conform to a protocol. UI text field delegate, that's the protocol. And uh, let's now go to our to our uh, implementation and here we want to have a text field UI text field let's call it something like text field <coughs> and now the first thing that happens is that we want to wait for the did move to view so we have void did move to view and here we want to create our text field. I will just paste uh, the code like this and you can examine it in your on your own and see what the different lines do. But essentially we are creating a text field with a certain with a certain uh, rectangle and then we are uh, setting its properties. Now this method uh, field rect we have to specify so it is a method that returns a rect, cg rect, and the name we have decided here up to call it field rect, field rect. So let's paste some code. We are making our width of our rectangle 100 pixels and height 40 pixels, and then we set the x and y coordinates and we return the corresponding rectangle which we create here. So that is what we enter here, and then we set other parameters. So now we have our text field. Now we have to specify the delegate methods. Delegate methods. And we have two delegate methods. Let's paste them in. The first is called text field should return, and the other one is called text field should change characters in range replacement string. Those two are specified by the de delegate protocol, by the UI text field delegate protocol and so we must have them here. And uh, this one we'll call a method to process the return, the return key, and this one we'll call a method which will see if we are entering correct characters, and if so we will return yes, otherwise we will return no. So let's take also this um, helper methods. Helpers. The first one was this uh, process return. Now what we do here is resign first responder, which will make the keyboard, which will hide the keyboard, and then we typically do something with the 
things we have con uh, with the things we have uh, in our text field in this JMO we will just log the message nothing else and the other one is uh, is correct type of string which you have specified here and it will just check if um, if the string contains letters in that case it will return yes otherwise no if you want other types of strings for instance your text field should only contain uh, numbers then you will use not letter character set but uh, something like digit character set or something like that and also what you would need to do is up here instead of UI keyboard type default you will use a keyboard which is uh, special for uh, for digits or not numbers so but in our case here we just want letters so that's why we'll keep default and this is the method which we are called from here so let's test this here is our text field if we click inside it the keyboard the letters keyboard appear so let's write something like Bob and when we hit the return we have our string logged here which shows that this uh, code works observe what would happen if we try to enter something like let's say G it accepts that but if we try a comma it doesn't accept it nor does it accept this point here nor does it accept numbers and so on and that is because we have said that we only accept letters okay so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching